In the wake of last week's attacks in Paris uh, and the death of several French Jews, Prime Minister Netanyahu uh, offered to the French Jewish community the opportunity to make Aliyah, an offer which, of course, uh, was there even before last week. But his public statement highlighted the idea that the state of Israel can be a sanctuary for world Jewry. He's received a bit of criticism both at home and abroad about this, but his statement and this whole idea reminds me of um, what I've learned from being at the Diaspora Museum, what I learned uh, many years ago when I was there. You know, this museum makes a very specific statement, a Zionist statement, um, and an interesting one about Jewish history and about the Jewish future. It talks about different Jewish communities throughout the world, how we settled, learned from the culture around us, offered our, ourselves to the uh, community around us, and eventually how these Jewish communities, one after the other, rose and then fell. The message is that Jewish communities in the diaspora are inherently at risk and that the right place to be is in the state of Israel. Uh, we've met Israelis who are happy to share this with us directly. They say, you know, the real place for us to be, uh, real thing for us to do is to make Aliyah. Now, um, uh, it's interesting because uh, in the book of Exodus and in our Parsha this week, Parsha Va'era, God hears our cries. God says God will take us out of the land of Egypt, out of slavery. He will bring us to the land of Israel. And he does this because he made a promise to Abraham, to Isaac, and to Jacob that Israel would be our home. And that home would be a place where we as a people could uh, create something special, create something based on, uh, uh, based on the ideas of Torah and on the law of Torah and create a community that was unique and beautiful. Now, um, Prime Minister Netanyahu's offer was really about sanctuary providing a place for world Jewry, just as the state of Israel has since its inception, right? That sense of home, that place of sanctuary which was unavailable to the Jews of Europe during World War II and um, during the Shoah. But Zionism, uh, for many, is not, um, the goal of Zionism is not to create a place of sanctuary, but to create a place so that the Jews could build something. Not something, not a negative idea, a place to run to, but also a place where something special could be created. Um, I think that uh, the Parsha and the Torah overall and Jewish tradition overall tells us that Israel is not only our history, our past, but Israel is our future. Israel is our destiny. And while uh, diaspora Jewry is not um, all, we are not all ready to buy plane tickets and move to the state of Israel. Uh, we should remember that the role of the state of Israel uh, is, um, uh, I guess there are several different roles. Clearly, for many of us, that idea of Israel as a sanctuary uh, is important, an important idea as it has seen itself since its inception. But Israel is a place that has been created, uh, a community that uh, continues to shape itself and uh, shape itself uh, based on uh, Jewish ideas, based on modern ideas, and is creating something uh, truly unique. Whether we are ready to be part of that or not, uh, as Jews, we know that, as I say, Israel is not only a, an idea in the past, but is our place in the future. Uh, French Jewry will have to see if it can recover that sense of safety that perhaps it had. Um, and if they do, then, um, like many diaspora communities, it will uh, continue on uh, for, many, for many years into the future. And if not, it is good to know that they can both find a place of sanctuary in the state of Israel, and also that they can be part of something special, a part of a vision that um, uh, was shared by God with Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and was in embraced by our ancestors for millennia, uh, leading into the 20th century and the birth of the state of Israel. Shabbat Shalom.